Okay, so today I'm gonna to make the warm spice oats with hemp and chia. I think that's what I'm gonna call it, but it has turmeric in it, so I'm not sure. Anyway, to get it started, um, I found that it's best when I do half of um, coconut milk, because the coconut really brings out the flavor. So I do a half cup of, um, oh, let me find the half cup, half cup of almond milk or you know, nut milk of choice, you can do hemp, whatever you wanna do. I just do three trees, almond milk, love it. And then the coconut milk um, just adds a richness to this, so I love it. So again, I love native forest, simple um, coconut milk. It has no guars or gum, so this is gonna be a cup in total. Half a cup of almond and then that. And then you've got those, and now I'm going to add the warming spices. So I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon. This is all quarter teaspoon quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom. As you can see, these are a little bit hefty. It's okay. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Just wipe that through. Um, you can wipe your quarter teaspoons off in between these guys. I'm just not. Um, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and then a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. And it just looks so cute doing that. So I'm going to give that a stir just so the spices get a little incorporated in there. And next, I'm going to add a pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I'm going to add um, a teaspoon of pure maple syrup. I think maple syrup gives this, it just goes well with these warming spices, you know? Like think about apples, fall, maple syrup. I don't know why. I Anyway, anyway. And then I'm going to do a third of a cup of just, um, I love these gluten-free, just regular rolled oats from Bob's Red Mill putting a third a cup of that. And then comes the hemp seeds and the chia. So again, the hemp seeds are gonna help pull this together. The, or the chia seeds are, the hemp seeds are just, you know, another omega-3 healthy fat to have in there, as well as some extra protein. And same with the, the chia, they have calcium and you know all the benefits. So that is going to be it. And then I thought, I did this the other day, so I'm gonna mix this up. You can also just put on a, um, a lid and give it a shake. But when I did this the other day, I actually loved putting in the currants. I don't know if any of you guys like currants, but I do. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of currants. And just, or you can add these the next day because I am going to reheat, I'm going to heat this up in the morning. So you could add it in in the morning when it's warm, but I just figured I put them in ahead of time. So all I have to do in the morning, is so I'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight, It'll turn a little bit more yellow in consistency once the turmeric kind of gets incorporated, but I'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight and then I'm going to um, pull it out in the morning, stick it in the microwave for like a, a minute and 10 seconds and then pour it in a bowl and then I top it with flax meal, I top it with soko, um, just plain tahini and I also top it with um, bee pollen and then berries if I have them or I can do um, sauteed cinnamon apple, whatever fruit you want to top them with, if you want to top them with fruit, it's up to you. This is kind of done, like this is the base, you add to it what you want to add to it. So anyway, hope you guys make it and like it. If you do, let me know.